Uh, Thank you, Pam. I don't need no help. A real man wouldn't need any help, Martin. Well, every man's not built like you, Pam. Come on. Hey, Come on, huh? hey, hey, huh? hey. Is that hey, what you want? Now, hey. Is that what you want? Hey, baby. Hi. How are you? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Baby, what are these vegetables doing here? Pretty. No, no, pretty, mm, pretty, Gina. But we're having a fight party, okay? Not one of Pam's ain't no good men around bitch sessions. <laughs> There aren't any good men around, and you and your friends keep proving me right. You know what? Prove my razor works and go shave your back. Do that. <laughs> flow with it. Flow with it. With it. Flow with it. You want to flow? You oh. flow, flow with Martin, it. Martin, Martin. Why are you grabbing me? You it's, ain't say nothing to It's her. you. You, Martin. You. Martin, every time a fight comes on, you start getting all riled up like there's something wrong with your hormones or something. Yeah, well, I'm sorry, Gina. All right? That's what fight night does to a man, all right? Blood, sweat, and tears. It's like a man's time of the month without the cramps. Excuse me, excuse me. I think it's stupid. Fights are violent and pointless. You really don't know what you're missing there, Gene. I mean, two hot, sweaty men with the bodies of gods and halfway naked. Girl, you done got me riled up. <laughs> I don't even understand why you're having a party, Martin. Every time we try, you start tripping about people respecting your house. Hey, Gina, I'm just giving back to the community, all right? Everybody can't afford cable. I'm a giver. <laughs> Pam, make sure everybody that comes in here pays $10. Martin, that is so tacky. Well, not as tacky as them run-over shoes Pam got on. <laughs> Zip it up, Martin, or you'll be collecting your own money at the door. You know what, Pam? Stand up. No, no, bring it up. Yeah, flow up. Come on, up. Okay, now, hear me and hear me good, all right? I said tonight is fight night. Girl, I am a bullet in the chamber. Lock and loaded. Do you want to pull my trigger, Pam? You want to pull a trigger? Oh, man, pull a trigger, Pam! I will, Martin. Because from what Gina tells me, you've been shooting blanks. Oh. 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 no, 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 I don't want no money. I want some panties. <laughs> No, not your panties. I want my own panties. Oh, oh. Well, why didn't you say so in the first place? Okay, uh, now listen. I need women's underwear, and I need them in a hurry, okay? Oh, well, you're very lucky because I just happen to have these beautiful seatless panties make you feel like the Queen of England. No, oh, not me. They're for my girl Gina. It's our anniversary. Oh, well, then these are all wrong. Yes, they are. <laughs> okay, now listen. I need something... Romantic. Oh, now don't be bashful. What size is she? All right, she's about five. She's no, no, no. I mean, my size, a little bigger. Oh! oh. <laughs> Your size about 20 years ago, way back in the day. Oh. Uh, 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 now tell me, is this your very first time in a lingerie shop? No. No. Look me in the eye. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I thought so. I can spot him a mile off. A first-timer, don't worry. I'll be gentle. <laughs> now, how about these beautiful French lace panties? Mm -hmm. Oh, you just don't see beautiful crotches like this anymore. <laughs> All hand-sewn. Feel it. Can I? Of course. Ooh. <laughs> This is nice. <laughs> Can you wrap this up for me? Oh, my pleasure. Have a seat. You know, I'm thinking about uh, this. Now, it is ooh. your anniversary, and you need something more special. Excuse me. Right. And I have something more special than panties. Huh. It's a fantasy. <laughs> now, 
this comes with matching helmet and boots. Costs a little more, what the hell, it's your anniversary, right? Right. You know, romance doesn't make sense to me, though. Think about it, it was started by this little white boy, Cupid, who came flying out of closet with an arrow and no drawers on, <laughs> shooting people in the ass. And because of this little white midget, I gotta buy flowers, candy, and take my girl out dancing. It don't make sense to me. I don't know, talk to me, Detroit. What up? Uh, hey, man, uh, um, what's the difference between Cupid and the New Year's Eve baby? <laughs> Shut up, next call. <laughs> what up? Martin, I think you're afraid. I mean, it takes a real strong man to show his soft side. <laughs> All right, well, kiss my soft side. Next caller. Up. Up! Martin, I don't think your problem is romance. It sounds to me like you're not really in love. Hey, 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 hey. Don't talk like that. I'm in love. I love my baby. Well, do you compliment her? Do you bring her flowers? Do you take her out? Hey, 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 hey. No, no, this is my show. I ask the questions here. <laughs> All right, do your feet stink? <laughs> I'm sure they do. Next caller. What up? You know, Martin, if you really love your girl, what's the big deal to do something special for her once in a while? I had a man just like you, and I kept asking him for a little romance. Took me a while, but I finally got it from someone else. <laughs> girl, please, he probably didn't like you anyway. So I gotta move on to a commercial. Boom. Today's sponsor is Shiny Tiny Barbecue. Their motto is, you need no teeth to eat my beef. Come down to Shiny Tiny's lonely grandma at home. Meat so soft and tender, she can suck it off the bowl. Shiny Tiny. Shiny Tiny. My baby ain't going nowhere because she know her man knows how to romance. That's right. Babe, yo, look here. I was wondering what you're doing tonight. Uh, how about, man, you go to the Savoy Club and get our dance thing and romance thing on tonight, girl. It's me, Martin. <laughs> What's up? Look, today we're going to talk about why men rule the household. It's because men are the providers. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's something that goes way back to the caveman days. Hey, I didn't make it up. See, a man's job back in the day was to go out and hunt a water buffalo, kill a water buffalo, and drag the water buffalo home. Not to say that the woman's job wasn't important. I mean, somebody had to fry it up. <laughs> Put some macaroni with it, hook it up with some yams, you know. <laughs> but Detroit, I need to hear from you. What up? Yo, Martin, this is Lil D calling from the east side. Lil D, what's up, man? Man, I heard through the grapevine that your woman is supporting you. <laughs> Where'd you hear that, man? First, I heard it while I was in line at the unemployment office. <laughs> but I didn't pay it no mind. Then I heard it again at the disability office. But when I heard it later at my job, I had to call you, man. Well, D, come on, man. You know me. Come on, now. Listen, man, you can't believe everything you hear, man. Especially down there at the unemployment office because everybody down there got a lot, man. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to move out. I'm out. Next call. What up? Your woman is supporting you? Yo, yo, man, shut up. We got a break for commercial. We'll be back. Martin, 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 Martin. Stop dogging our female listeners, man. I can't afford to lose that audience. You have any idea what those tampon sponsors pay? <laughs> I don't know, man. Look, look, look. Can, can I talk to you? Yeah, well, hurry up, man, because I got to go get my hair cut. Uh, well, let me hurry. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, um... <laughs> everybody knows that Gina makes more money than me, man. So what's the problem, man? You know, you got a woman supporting you. Kick back, relax, and spend her dough, man. Shucks, I've been looking for a girl like this for years. I got close once, but she died before I could get the papers signed. Six months pushing wheelchairs for nothing. Stan, hmm? that's cold, man. No, it's not. What's cold is I'm going after a mother next week. Don't miss it. Oh, my goodness. Yo, man, what happened? I don't know, man. I came in here a half hour ago, right? And there he was. Dead. <laughs> Did you call 911, Cole? 911, are you kidding me, man? A dead white guy in a black man's apartment. <laughs> man, they'll be blaming me, all right? 
Yeah, then they be hauling me off to jail. <laughs> yeah. See, and next thing you know, I'm on trial, man, in Simi Valley, California. How do you know he's dead, man? Did you check his pulse? I ain't touching a dead man, Martin. <laughs> Cole, man, this man could still be alive, all right? Give me a hand with him. Come on, give me a hand. No, 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 no. Damn! Damn. 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 Come on, mister. <laughs> mister? What happened? Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Um, okay. Um, okay. Yeah, mouth to mouth. Mouth to mouth. <laughs> mouth to mouth. Uh, uh, excuse me, but I'm, I ain't kissing no man. Yo, man, just think about who you'd be kissing if you was in that jail cell, man. Come on. Go. All right. The Heimlich. Come on. Okay. Come on. Yeah. Uh, all right. Um, help me with him. Watch his head. All right. Come on, mister. Oh, mister. Come on. Ay. Ah. 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 Oh. 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 Hey, calm down. Stop it. You stop it. You a man. You hear me? You a man. Now you stop it. All right? OK. All right. Here we go. Ready? Yeah. On the count of three. OK. One, two, three. <laughs> It's just your food, Martin. I gave it to him. And he choked on it. I killed him, Martin. They're gonna give me the chance for this. <laughs> uh, look at my little Freddy Frey. What's up, Kyle? How y'all doing? Look at y'all. Dad out here looking like a bunch of church ushers for. Come get my tip. <laughs> How y'all doing? <laughs> We are waiting for Martin, Janine. Damn, Tommy. Why you gotta say that with an attitude like you got a problem with me, Tommy? I mean, damn, won't you just barge in his apartment like you always do? Oh, oh my goodness. I just need to beat it all out. Come here, Janine. What? Martin's got a, um... I do you a tell. What? What? He got a what? Well, it's a, um... What, boy? I know you ain't gonna let no man shush you. You gotta talk. You gotta speak up. Don't let people shush you, cuz. <laughs> if you, you really wanna know, Shanene, we are here to help Martin catch a mouse. Uh, 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 oh, what? A mouse. <laughs> oh, oh, my God! Oh, my God! Save me, you don't have a truck into my bar field. Tommy now, Tommy! Tommy! You so big and strong. I never knew you was as big and strong, Tommy. Look at your head looking like a milk dud. Give me a bite of that milk dud. You better give me a bite of that milk dud. Come on, Shanae! Oh, no, Shanae! No, Shanae! Tommy, is that a boss in your pocket or you just happy to see, baby? <laughs> you know, Tommy, I don't even want to know, man. Right? Cole, why are you wearing those goggles? Because mice, man, they always go for your eyes. <laughs> Where did you get that idea? Why, why don't you two try picking up a book sometime? Read, my brothers. Read. Look, Martin, what do you need us for, man? Why don't you just set a mouse trap and get this over with? Tommy, this ain't about the mouse, man. I had to talk to my boys. I got problems, big problems. She wants me to move in with her. Why now? I don't know, man. I stayed two nights at Gina's because of this mouse. Now she don't want me to leave. 
if you lose your apartment, man, where am I gonna bring Big Shirley when mom's got company over? <laughs> Well, don't look at me cold, cause uh, my water bit ain't big enough for them big girls you go out with. <laughs> Roscoe! What are you doing in here? It is 6.30 in the morning! How did you get in here? Never buy how I got in here. I want to watch cartoons. <laughs> A TV. Why don't you watch it at your own house? You don't know what I have. I felt like watching it here. <laughs> Boy, get your shoes off my couch. Does your mother know you're here? No. Does your mother know Martin Spence tonight? <laughs> out. I want you out of my house. People in hell want ice water, but you can't always get what you want. <laughs> get your shoes off my couch. What? That nasty little nose and get out my house. No, no, I, I, I punch you. I bet I kick you. I, I stab you with my crayon. I am the adult. You are the child. You don't talk to me like this. You no. get your shoes off my couch. No, I, 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 I